Hey everyone, uh, decided to just do a quick vlog this afternoon because I'm the only one around. Um, uh, usually my intro, um, DJ, Jack to Beats, and then I state the date, which is the 11th of the 6th, 2012. Um, and then I say the other guy, DJ, Jack to Beats, <laughs> as he calls himself, um, is not here. But I'm here, so good news, everybody. Yeah. Um, celebration. That was weird. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a quick vlog today, and it's gonna be a little thing of me. Stop it, my cat! Yeah, man, Moses, there's Moses. Hey, Moses! Stop it! Moses. You don't like me. Moses. Nope. Okay, screw you, get down. Okay, so quick movie review, so my cat. Notice good, good, we're all introduced. Good, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do like some movie reviews and stuff today. I'm trying to get my thing straight, but my face cannot be seen. <sighs> I don't have a dock, I really need to get a dock, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick couple of movie reviews. Um, little piece of paper, I know what I'm doing. Um, Oh, oh, quickly, um, name change. My name is not DJ Jack the Beats anymore, it's DJ Accent, um, because I, th I figured DJ Jack the Beats, that's a bit of a weird name. And they, always, and they also have, we already have Jack Beats, or DJ Jack Beats, and he's already DJ, so I can't really trademark that and nobody's going to know the difference, you know? And so I figured I'd do something different, and looked it up on Google, YouTube, everything like that, and... Yet to trademark it. Shall we trademark? Nobody steal my idea or kill someone. That's what I got. Um, yep, DJ accent sounds better. Um, it's two words. A lot better. A lot better if it's shorter. Um, and so yeah, like it also goes with me because I put an accent on the beats, right? I put an accent on the beats. Um, been beatboxing a lot actually too. That was a bit of a weird thing. Um, but yeah, I'm an right. Um obviously I'm just an amateur beatboxer. Yes. Um but yeah, I just beatbox when the inspiration comes to me or when there's a song on and I'm just like, well I can't sing this song, it's by a woman. So I'm just gonna beatbox to it. Mmm. Like a boss. Um so yeah, DJ accent goes with uh, you know, me like having and putting an accent on the beats and stuff. Um so it's hard, it's rocky, it's fast, everybody knows which bits are good. Um, and yeah, I'm boring everybody here right now, probably. But don't be bored, because I'm awesome. You should be awesome too. Or think that you're awesome. Oh, that's nice too. A Milo burp. Mm. It's kind of tasty, but gross, you know, yeah, at the same time. Um, anyway. So, yeah, DJ accent kind of goes with filming as well, like acting and stuff, because I can do a lot of accents. Not a lot of accents, I've only like four main accents. You know, every, the four main accents that people know about. Um, so Russian, American, Australian, stuff like that. English. So I'll probably do a lot more accents than that, but... Oh, Irish. You know, it all differs. It's all very different. Not much, actually. Whatever's moving on, you're all getting bored. Um, so yeah, DJ accent as well. Cause a lot of people go into movies after their a lot of musicians go into movies. So like Ludacris and stuff. Um, you know, he went rapping. He's still doing rapping, but you know, music to Fast and Furious movies. Um, number two and number four, I think. Maybe number five. I don't know. I haven't got number five on Blu-ray yet. I've got all the other ones on Blu-ray though. So, yeah, movie reviews, moving on to the movie, moving, moving, moving to the movie, it doesn't rhyme a little bit, whatever, um, but yeah, quick movie reviews, uh, Men in Black 3, it was good, 3D was better than 2D, it was, oh, um, the way they tied the whole thing up, the way they tied the whole thing up, this is not going to be a sequel, I hope, because that will just ruin it, um, but the way they tied the whole series up was great, amazing, um, the Avengers, if you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out, really, and you're a bit slow. Um, or you have no money, but I respect that. I have friends that have no money too. <laughs> um, so yeah, The Avengers, uh, 
3D is not that different from 2D, so don't waste your money, go and see the 2D version. Um, and like, brag to your friends about 3D, don't worry about that. Just 2D was about as good as 3D. 3D was a little brighter, because they have to do that with the tinting on the glasses and stuff like that. Um, but 2D was pretty much the same. Um, same experience. So go see the 2D. Um, it was not any really different. So moving on to the Dictator. The Dictator was awesome. Um, Sasha Baron Cohen, or whatever his name is, I think that's it. Um, he had a good movie. The Dictator was funny. Um, not amazing, but it was funny. So, like, go see it if you're over 15. Um, like me, I'm over 15. I'm a young adult. Always use that reason. Somebody says, you an adult boy? I said, yeah, I'm a young adult, mate. I can't. Um, so yeah, for all you kids out there watching this, if you're over 15, Say you're a young adult, because you count them as an adult. How sick is that? Use it all the time. Um, so yeah, Dictator was good, it's only in 2D, so there's really no difference between 2D and 3D, because there's no difference between the two. I'm confused, and so are you, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, there's no TD, 2D of the Dictator, so it's all pretty basic and all pretty much the same experience every time you go see it. But it was funny. Um, over 15, go see it, and under 15, don't go see it, because it was crude and humorous at the same time, but, you know, parents, I urge you not to take your children. Actually, do take your children. Do. So it'll be a fun experience, fun family experience. But, you know, make sure they're mature enough. Moving on, I'm boring you all. I just scared my cat when I said moving on. Moving on! And she was going that time. Um, Prometheus, I saw it last night. Awesome. Um, I saw it in 3D, so I, I urge you to go see it in 3D. It's not... Everybody was saying to me that it was the jump out sort of scary, like, you know, where stuff jumps out at you, and it's like, <laughs> stuff jumps out at you, but, yeah, it really wasn't. It was more suspense, you know, like, sitting in your seat going, oh, what's going to happen next? With the big eyes? Um, <laughs> but, um, before you go, I urge you to, I recommend to you to read the, uh, parents guide on imdb.com, um, Probably easy to find in the. Oh, go away, you stupid cat. Go away. Here's the bush cat again. Um, stupid cat. So, um, yeah, Prometheus, good. Um, read the parents' guide on imdb.com. Just Google search for it, Prometheus, imb, imdb. That's a few four letters that always get confusing. Um, or Wikipedia, or whatever. Just the movie site. Um, with Prometheus on us, Prometheus on it, yeah. I'm retarded, um, <laughs> Prometheus on it, and 3D was good, 3D better than 2D, I haven't seen it in 2D, but I can assume that 3D is better than 2D, but it was cool, it was an awesome movie, should have been rated MA over here, I'm surprised that it's M over here, um, so it's M here, it should have been MA from all the violence, it got rated an 8 out of 10 by critics and reviewers, and Basically, just the film industry of rating peoples and stuff. I don't know. Don't judge me. Nah. Um. Yeah, I got rated for eight out of ten for violence and gore and stuff like that. Three out of ten for sex and nudity. But there was no sex. Wait, there was sex. <gasps> yeah, but <laughs> whatever. You gotta see it. Um, it was good. Prometheus was good. Um, it's a little bit scary, but it's more suspenseful, scary. It was good. Moving on. And now I'm going to sign off with the big, I don't know, big eyes. That was with, you know, oh man. That's so good. That's so good. But yeah, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to leave you with stupid cat doing stupid cat stuff. That's Toby Turner's type of thing. But yeah, so, uh, DJ Accent signing off. That had my eyes. <laughs> The Jackson signing off um, on the 11th of the 6th, 2012, and it's Monday. So I'm probably calling it again. For Australians, I'm guessing. I'm not sure if it's Americans. Hi, I'm boring everybody here. Um, yep, yeah, 11th of the 6th, 2012, Dave Jackson signing off, and I leave you with stupid cat doing stupid cat stuff. Bye bye.